Hi there everybody, Brennan Clinch, Solutions Architect for the Aruba team here at Cinex. Wanted to come today with something kind of new and exciting uh, that we've been hearing a lot about from, from HPE and Aruba, and that is the HPE Office Connect series of products. Now, if you've been familiar at all with HPE uh, over the last several years, you're probably familiar with the Office Connect product, but they've started to add some new additions into this product line that make it really exciting, really new, um, and bring in some WLAN opportunities to sort of the S of the SMB market. Um, so that if you're engaging in opportunities where maybe enterprise WLAN isn't necessarily a straight fit, maybe this product will be. So today we're going to focus on um, the Office Connect OC20 access point, which I just happen to have with me in this beautiful cardboard box. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up um, and we'll go ahead and take a peek at what is inside. So we've got, um, first of all, we've got our our setup guide. We've got our actual steps, which as you can see, there are very few. This is a very simple product. And of course, all the normal, you know, regulatory mumbo jumbo that is necessary, but, you know, fun to read. Then of course, we have the, the product of the hour, the OC20, full in plastic wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off, but I'm going to cut the mic out while I do it because otherwise you're going to hear just a big old rip. So just so you can see, again, pretty straightforward AP, pretty, you know, it's, it's small. Um, I mean, I can hold it in the palm of my hand pretty easily. We've got just a couple lights on the front um, and here on the back um, we've got a couple of ports um, and, and again as you can see as I just talked about uh, there is a power port back there um, but you need to order that separately so just FYI I didn't get it with this particular unit um, I'm just powering this via PoE that we've got back in our lab um, so I'll set this off to the side for now. What it will come with is sort of our standard uh, mounting kit so here's the uh, here's the mounting kit snaps on real easy I just position it properly. There we go. We're ready to mount this to any sort of flat surface. It also comes with the uh, the adapters. Should we need to use those as well? So just for the sake of the demo and just for ease of use, I'm going to let the the mount stay on this thing, um, just because again I want to be able to to move it around easily. And it's a very smooth surface. You know, has a really nice design to it. Really really sleek, um, but I can't really hold on to it very easily that way. Because we're powering this thing via PoE, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in um, right there to the Ethernet port uh, right there on the back. Alright, so I've got the Ethernet port plugged in and we're going to, to let it start up here. And while we're doing that, I'm, I just want to kind of review what's on these, these four steps here, right? So the first step, of course, um, is to, to plug this in and uh, basically to power this up via PoE. So we're going to wait for this light, um, this LED green light to go solid green. Right now, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, it's it's flashing, right? So, oh, no, just kidding. Thought it was solid. It wasn't. So we'll wait for that. It takes about two to four minutes and we'll let that get powered up and we'll see you in just a few minutes. We're back again and no, you're not dreaming. I did change shirts. Uh, my camera had a, had a problem yesterday, so I had to tear down and start again back today. So we're ready to roll back into the network. I've got a solid green light now on my AP. Let's go ahead and hop in and I'll show you uh, what's on my phone screen, um, which is my, my Aruba folder on my iPhone. Um, I've got a lot of great apps in here. Uh, I don't have even every app that HPE and Aruba makes, but they make some really, really good stuff. So first one we're gonna hop into is this one in the bottom right, this Office Connect application. So as I open this, basically what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new device. Now, here's the instructions, and this is what I mean. This is really self-guiding, and this is one of the things that I love about this product. Anybody that, that can get on an iPhone, can hop on a Wi-Fi network, can get this set up and running in no time at all, and it doesn't really require a lot of technical expertise. Let's go ahead and follow the instructions here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into my, uh, my settings. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect right here, as you can see, to the Office Connect. And that's got the MAC address um, of the access point, the Office Connect OC20 that we have hooked up. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to that. And uh, we'll wait for it to go ahead and, uh, and complete. And then we've got our check marks, so we know we're, we're connected. Um, so let's hop back over to the Office Connect application. And when I do that, um, you can see that it's, it's actually now connected. And to be honest with you, if I look at my access point right now, it's, it's mirroring what the lights are doing, showing that there's a connection there. So let's go ahead and click Set It Up. And we're going to name this Cinex Office Connect Test. And what we'll do is for our, our password, we'll do HPE. OC20, all capitals, 2017, next. 
and um, we're going to actually use uh, the, the portal that I had set up before. You actually set up a, an account when you first set this up. Um, and so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and name this site um, Cinex OC Test. And we'll activate it. And as this sets up, this can take about 30 seconds, but as you can already see, this is a very easy to do thing, and, and we've already almost got a network up and running. This is, if you've used Instant before, or if you've used any of the Aruba WLAN wizards, this, this probably seems pretty familiar to, it, to you, it's just in a different format. It's just real easy, and you use your phone to do it. So let's go ahead and hop back in. So as it says, Cynix Office Connect test should now be available in our Wi-Fi settings. So, so let's hop into our new, Office Connect, and there it is. There at the bottom, Cinex Office Connect test. Let's go ahead and hit that. And we'll put in our password, which was HPEOC20-2017. We'll join that. And as you can see, there we go. We're connected to that. Let's hop back over to our app and see what we've got there. And it's connecting. There we go. Select the Office Connect site you want to access. So that first one was a, a test one that I had done on my own, uh, which I've, I've currently gotten rid of for the time being. So let's go ahead and get into our Cinex OC test. I'll click on that. And right away, we've got our dashboard, okay? And it says, your main Wi-Fi network is now active. You may also want to, to activate a guest network, and we'll do that in another video. I'm not going to get into that today, but I'll keep that remind me later um, activated, and I'll say not now. Um, just so I, I want to explore real quick just the first things you're going to see when you when you hop in here, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to say system health. Everything's okay. No problems found. That was that top left option. And I want you to notice there at the bottom too, okay? The bottom row. I'm in the very left one. But you can access any of these things quickly. You don't have to keep going back out on the breadcrumb shell. You can actually get to this very quickly. And this is one of the things that I love about Aruba stuff, about HPE stuff. It's very intuitive, and, it, and it's, it's not just intuitive, but it gives you uh, the ability to get to the same place multiple ways um, at any given time you want to see it. It's not like, you, again, you have to kind of keep going back through. You can just access it very quickly. So again, we've got uh, all these alerts saying everything's looking good. Uh, we've got one new client connection, that's me. So I'm going to click this back button for now. I mean, as you can see, uh, the clients uh, section is right below that. So if I click on clients, we'll see that my iPhone is there. Now, the cool thing about this, and again, another great thing that I love about these products um, that, that mirrors a lot of the other HPE Aruba products, I'm going to click on iPhone. And it's going to give me the details. So this is my iPhone that I'm, I'm running this on right now. It uh, shows the MAC address, shows the IP address, um, shows which network we're connected to. So if I connected any other access points to it, I could walk to the other end of the, the office here. And I might still be connected, like it says here, to Cinex Office Connect Test. But this MAC address would be different, right? I would be connected via another AP, not necessarily um, to this same AP. So um, as you can see, we've got uh, a breakdown of my client details, including the transfer data, including download, upload data. Um, and it doesn't know which OS I'm on. I've got my, my phone set up a particular way, so that that's a little bit harder to find. Um, but that certainly is available as well. So real quick, I just want to show you, because we're in the, I, I want to use that bottom bar. So the one next, right on the left of this, right, the little, little node looking thing, I'm going to click on that, and that's our networks. And as you can see, there's no active guest network, but I could create one right there. And, 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 you know, it's very simple from the network menu. You have the option to create a guest network. Um, but we won't do that right now. I'm going to click again on that bottom bar over to that very right one, um, which you might have guessed the name already, but it's basically it's applications. Um, and so this is the cool thing. It gives you a breakdown um, for, for the networks. I could click this little drop down box at, at the top, the filter, and this is all networks. So if I set up another uh, guest network, I would be able to break it down via the network as well. Um, and I can always go up here to the top right is where I click that. Let me go back. So just so you see, it's a little, the top right thing with the four lines. I click on that. And this actually gives me a list view, which is great. This shows me every category possible and how many bytes are being used or, you know, uh, data and, and, and bandwidth is being used for those categories. Um, if I go into social, um, this will say whether it's blocked or allowed. Obviously, this is allowed. Um, if, I, if I turned this off, we wouldn't be able to do so.
social, but I'll, I'll turn it back on um, just so you can see that. And then of course our enterprise traffic because I, I hopped back over real quick to some to some enterprise resources. And so here we are back at the main screen. Um, if I click on this uh, this top right hand corner, um, I can set up a new site. I can connect to another site if I so choose. Um, I could sign out. I could I could also create um, new users and things like that for a new site. Um, and and via the settings here um, for administration. We've got one administration account, but we can always uh, change that if we so choose. So really, really good stuff. Uh, I just wanted to give you a basic overview of the Office Connect product. We'll go into some other videos where we look at guest networking and we look at adding another Office Connect access point. What does it look like when we do that and how do we do that? We'll look at, we'll look at our 1920S Office Connect switch. So Please come back and, and watch as we continue this series on the Office Connect series of products. But until then, I'm Brennan Clench again. My uh, email address is brennank at cinex.com. That's B-R-E-N-N-A-N, the letter K, at cinex.com. Um, and again, if you, if you have a question for me, I'm a great technical resource for the team. I'm a solutions architect for the team. I love doing it. I love my job. But if you want to know more about like Aruba in general and Cinex's role in our relationship with HPE and Aruba, you can email us about that as well, about becoming a partner with us. That is aruba at synex.com. That is aruba at synex.com. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks.